In the last video, we talked about Angular as a single page application framework that works with this type of workflow. But there isn't just one JavaScript file that supports all of the functionalities. The functionalities are separated into different components. So in this video, we are going to talk about Angular as a component-based framework. So let's backtrack a little and look at this diagram that represents the traditional web applications where the look and feel is generated on the server. Because everything is dealt with on the server, we have uh, a flexibility to use different type of architectures. For example, if we are using MVC, then we would have uh, controllers to deal with different functionalities. We would have corresponding views for display purpose, and we would have models to represent the data, right? And all of these will work together to generate the contents and the look and feel. If this is not MVC, if this is Razor Pages, then we would have pages and the page behind, which is from concept level, very similar to web forms, where you would have the web form, and the code behind, right? and they work together to generate the contents. Here with single page application frameworks like Angular, everything is loaded to the browser and everything has to work inside the browser. So we don't have this type of flexibilities to allow the backend server to generate everything for us. Hence, we're using a different type of technique and that's component, which is very similar to controls in the mobile application or desktop location in single page applications we call it components instead of controls so, so let's give an example if we are to create a page that has a uh, let's say a, a search box right so this would be a input html element and you would have a, a button for searching so this is a for searching purpose and let's say you would have a list of search results that is displayed down here right and, and you may have some list items in the search result now if we look at the screen we're seeing different functionalities here that can be grouped together for example this part of the screen deals with the search functionalities right and this part of the screen deals with displaying the list whereas this part of the screen it deals with displaying the list item as well as the delete functionality. So we can divide the screen into different groups. And each group deals with a specific functionality. And within single page application frameworks like Angular, we call them components. So you will have components that group together both the look and feel, the contents, as well as the functionality. So in Angular, the look and feel is handled by HTML and CSS. And of course, the functionality is actually handled by TypeScript class. So any of these yellow areas is a component that encapsulates both the look and feel, the content, as well as the functionality. And this is a component in Angular, as well as in any other single page application frameworks. And of course, if we go back, we can see that it's not just one piece of JavaScript here. And if we look at this, it's not just one component. It's many components, right? So our single page application framework has to help us to create multiple components to encapsulate different functionalities. And then when Angular framework compiles, it will then compile all of these components into mostly just one JavaScript that is called main.js. And this main.js is what we are referring to in here. So this architecture is very close to what actually Angular has, uh, except that Angular actually group components into modules, which kind of makes sense, right? So you may have, uh, let's say, a customer facing module, which you have all of the components for customer facing screens whereas you may have a admin module 
that are for the backend team to to log in with specific credentials to handle backend functionality. In Angular, components can be grouped into modules, and you may have multiple modules. So this is one module. Let's say that we have two modules, right? And when when Angular compiles, all of these components in the two modules can be compiled into one JavaScript file that is called main.js. And this is the JavaScript file that we are showing here that will communicate with the DOM to render the contents into the browser as well as handles all of the events that comes back from the DOM. So the takeaway from this video is that in Angular, components encapsulate the look and feels and the functionality. Multiple components can be grouped together into modules and all of the modules when compiled will be compiled into a JavaScript file. And this JavaScript file is going to work with the DOM to perform the work that we want the entire application to do. This is the theory, but in the next video, I'm going to create our first Angular application. We're going to go through all of this in action. Right? We're going to see all of the files, see the components, and see the modules. We're going to see the compiled JavaScript file. So we're going to see all of this in action. If you have any questions, just don't hesitate to ask. If not, I'm going to see you in the next video.